you know, you have to look at this definitely not as some kind of box ticking exercise or even, you know, from a business perspective, even morally the right thing to do, even though it clearly is. But it really is about finding that best person for the job that maybe your yes. contestant isn't looking at, for example, you know, that doesn't look like or sound like or feel like a person that you've already employed and what that can bring to the team once that happens. You know, if you're a business that's creating products or creating campaigns, if you're a B2C business, essentially, then you're really missing out on perspectives of your customers if your team does not reflect, at least in some way, the types of people that you're trying to sell to. Absolutely. Um, yeah, without just a doubt. Common business sense. And, and that's just from a, you know, a, an economic financial perspective, never mind the kind of team dynamics and, and, and what that brings and the fresh perspectives and, you know, so on. That is obvious, really, once you get into that kind of place. So there are just so many different benefits to even slightly thinking outside the box. Yeah. No one says you have to do it perfectly. No one says you have to do it end to end. No one says it has to be a five-year change and plan and all the rest of it. You can just start doing this tomorrow. Something like changing language in job descriptions, you can start doing it tomorrow. Yeah. 